I hate bars in LA, man. It's like, why would I bother putting myself out there if I'm not what the girls here are looking for in the first place? Dude, you're being way too hard on yourself, man. Everybody's somebody's fetish, right? Hey, Brooks, there's Brooks. I'll be back through with them all later. What's up, faggots? Wow, taking us back to 1999, Marshall Mathers. Uh, I'm taking us back to right now because I'm gay, so I'm allowed to say that. Oh, right on. Apologies. And, uh, dude, much respect. I mean, it just pisses me off so much when, like, a straight writer will put words in a gay character's mouth, and a white writer will put words in a black character's mouth, and, you know, Django, and, and, and Quentin Tarantino dropping the N-bomb. It's like, we don't need that, bro. Like, that's not cool. It sits with me wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Aside from saying I love you to my boyfriend last night, that was probably the gayest thing I've ever heard. All right, hey, Brooks, would you hit it? Well, I'm gay because I'm attracted to men. So... Okay, let me go shoot myself. Okay, man, you're overthinking this whole situation, bro. Why do you want to be buff anyways? I know plenty of buff dudes that don't get laid. Because I want a girl with substance. I want a crunchy granola girl who's spiritual and who's intellectual and who's passionate about what I have on my inside. Is also just hella horny for what I have on my outside. Did you just compare a woman to crunchy granola? Dude, you're out of your mind. I will literally beat your ass down if you keep bullshitting like that. I will curb stomp you, bro. Whoa. I did not like that imagery of the curb stomp. You're absolutely right. I felt uncomfortable the minute it left my mouth. That's besides the point. Jamie's. Jannies. Jamie's. Jannies. Jamie's, you piece of shit. One, it's shaped like a goddamn shell. You can probably put your ear to it and hear the ocean. Two, there's a bunny on the box. And bitches love bunnies. Three, when you mix them to powder, sometimes the powder gets clumped up and you get these delicious pockets of cheddar. Everybody knows that white cheddar is far more superior than yellow cheddar. It's, it's a paradox I can't explain. Forgetting for a moment that Jamie's is orange, Giants colors, and you know that I try to eat only orange foods whenever possible, let me ask you a very serious question. You ever crisped the edges of your pasta? No? I wonder why you've never crisped the edges of your pasta. Oh, I know why. Because you can't crisp the edges of a boiled pasta. Look at that. That's called brown gold, bro. That's a trump card. You ever read the back of a Jamie's box? If you had read the back of a Jamie's box, you would know that Jamie's was founded in 1987, the year that the founder's daughter, Jamie, was born, which means that she's our age. She also went to Harvard. She's also fine as fuck. How do you know that? I know it because I added her on Facebook. It's not a big deal. She happens to be the Angelina Jolie of Mac and Chi. I wanna know, who's Jenny? Who's Jenny? Oh, I know who Jenny is. Jenny is a bitch ass bunny! I think we eat way too much macaroni and cheese. Yeah, you're right. We probably smoke too much weed too. We probably watch too much Boy Meets World. We actually do. We probably love too much. We're probably too handsome. We're probably too funny. There's probably too much green in Ireland. There's probably too much ice in Antarctica. And Gene Simmons probably has too much tongue. I mean, Ron Jeremy probably has too much dick. Look, it's okay for me, but you're trying to be a rapper. You're trying to shoot music videos, get on the cover of GQ magazine, do interviews, and, and your chest is concave. You got the chest of a 14-year-old Thai boy. I mean, don't you think that's a problem? Okay, you know that I want to work out, I really do, but I'm whimsical and easily distracted. The fact is, Jamie's is head and shoulders above Jannie's, the very taste of which, the word in my mouth, makes me want to vomit. How am I supposed to take you seriously when you can't understand the superiority of conch-shaped pasta as opposed to elbow-shaped macaroni and cheese? What about Stouffer's? I've always been a big fan of Stouffer's. Calvin, don't you have like a craft fair in Venice or something you need to get to. Yeah, you probably should leave now. This has been a lot of fun, guys. You guys are my best friends.
second. What are you doing in there? Uh, I'm jerking off. Don't come in. Wait, you're exercising, aren't you? Looking good, bro. Get out of here. Is this private time? What are you doing? Pumping iron. Soup cans? Has an incredibly high iron content. Dude, those are like half a pound each, and one of them's open with a spoon in it. Yeah, well, you gotta put nutrients into your body if you're gonna build muscle. Let me see you do a push-up. No. Do a push-up, man. Come on. No. Just one push-up. You're leaving, and I'm gonna work out, and I'm gonna do it by myself. You can't even lift the soup can. Dude, graduation episode of Boy Meets World. Oh, shit! You guys are my best friends. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs>